What is going on, lunatics? We're going to call this an emergency update. I'm going to break this down for you. Uh, we're going to talk about the burn that is still in line to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm going to explain to you what's going on. Uh, I've got the court documents I'm going to show you. And then from there, we'll be able to extrapolate and elaborate on you know what is the issue, why did this not happen, what is going on, etc., etc. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. And we're going to break it down. Folks, before we get started, uh, there's another proposal up on Commonwealth, a proposal for official coin market cap links, which means that we're finally getting back to what we would deign as normal. Uh, in Coin Hall, you can see here we're down quite a bit on the day, uh, both in um, Luna Classic price and everything that's been attached to it. Of course, uh, that's what happens when uh, what is supposed to happen does not happen. So, um, and, and by the way, it's temporary because it's getting ready to happen. I'm going to show you in just a moment. In great news, reverse charge is now approved. Pass threshold has been met. So we'll see that burn. Uh, we'll see that reverse charge start to happen in short order of concern. And you should have concern about this on the price action. We did have a dip down to the bottom of this channel rather than wicking to the bottom. Three days ago, I told you the one problem that I would have on this chart would be if we didn't break a pass the heart line right there and we wicked up to that heart line and break above it uh, again we're looking for the burns to happen for the uh, bridge liquidity we're looking for all of these wallets to have burns and they did not have burns and we don't understand why or at least we didn't until now so let's volume way down volume way down on everything at this point and the last notification we got was three days ago from Terra uh, dot underscore money that said we would like to inform you that the operations for enterprise down war protocol will conclude on December 31st. Now, is that when the burns are going to happen? No. Uh, in fact, that was just kind of a, I don't know what do you call it? Red herring for the entirety of the situation it has nothing to do with, um, the, the burns. I'll show you in just a moment. Burn tracker showing 1.2 billion standard for this point of the, the, the month where we see, you know, whatever Binance burns come through. Now, People are upset because they didn't get the burns that they were looking for. Where are the burns? Stake bin, not showing a significant amount of burns. 37 million over the course of today, a billion yesterday. Uh, barely any over here on USTC. Luna Foundation Guard still holding on to 1.8 billion USTC. So, what are we doing? Before we say that, Terra Casino, remember, uh, they're giving away 2 million euros for the World Poker League. Danger High Voltage 2 is available, sponsored by BTG for the month, and giving away $5,000 today on Poker Free Roll. So if you haven't signed up, this is your last chance to sign up for a $5,000 potential reward. And if you want to do some meme coin trading, then you got to come over here to terraport.finance, start trading today. My total average, 6720 So a um, little bit longer, and I'll be able to start getting into the game, if you will. Now let's talk about what's going on. This is the bankruptcy court dockets, and here we have the final judgment being rendered. Now this was done on October 1. So um, I went back and I looked at the final proposed judgment for the SEC versus Terraform and Duquan, and really it gave, a year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.finance was $3.7 billion according to the British government. Today, that value, 6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then Cryptonomy Telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH and market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to 
cryptonomy.finance/research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping 3 ETH into a 9 month contract. All right, we've created that. But the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57x average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5x with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're going to create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between 1 and 5x when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for autonomy.finance today. No indication on a... Look, the time frame, I think, over here was kind of, you know, uh, most of this came, of course, from Happy Caddy. We were kind of looking at it, seeing, like, what does all of this say? What does it all read? Uh, and then it does talk about the removal of the wallets, and it talks about... Uh, right here, notwithstanding the following, as part of Terraform's orderly wind down and liquidation in the case, um, defendants shall be permitted to allow third parties to withdraw, unwind, and or unstake their position from Terraform's applications and protocols. And the defendants, liquidating trustee or other estate representatives of the bankruptcy case, shall be permitted to dispose of crypto assets within the bankruptcy estate's possession or control, including, uh, and then it gives you the list here of UST, Mir, Luna, Rap Luna, ANC, KRTC, and Luna 2.0. So, in a manner not objectionable to the parties uh, in the course of the bankruptcy action. Now, that was October 30, was the last day. It, it extended to October 31st. Why? I don't really know that. There's no new filing, by the way. When you come to uh, the, the filing here, this is the last effective date of any filings so far regarding creditors, docket number 765. So there is no update that anything has happened other than they just missed the date by 24 hours to wind down um, the, cla the, the, bri the shuttle bridge. So then that means that everything in that wallet will now have to be burned and... That's what the judgment says. Now, coming back over to the bankruptcy court, uh, we do see all of this is, is saying that. So, but, the, but the bankruptcy court changed the date here, uh, and it says a proof of such claim must be filed with the bankruptcy court by the, the later of October 31st, um, or, or uh, it's an unexpired lease. None of that's relevant. October 31st, basically the day. So on October 31st, uh, it, it was destroyed. Now, what we're talking about is 251 billion Luna Classic about to be burned. So, here is the thing. If I'm going through here, I'm not seeing a date, okay? Uh, the deadline for private crypto wallet holders uh, to request a withdrawal of tokens shall be October 31st. So, we've got that. Uh, details of the bridge wallet crypto holders, uh, again, October 31st. Now, all professional persons seeking approval by the bankruptcy court of compensation for services rendered or reimbursement of expenses uh, shall be filed on or before December 2nd with the respective applications. Now, it is now my my thinking that maybe we're using this date as, uh, so sometime between now and December 2nd would be the period of time in which this would happen. Again, focusing on what they're saying in this, in that uh, all professional persons seeking approval by the bankruptcy court for compensation for services rendered or reimbursement of expenses. And by the way, this is attorney. These are the attorneys. These are the people that are working on the case, at least in my estimation. So I don't think that this applies. So here is what I think the summary is. I think the summary is this. Once October 31st was done, we're going to get a surprise announcement point. By the way, most likely we won't get it over the weekend because business doesn't work on the weekend. What I think we're going to get, and, and this is, by the way, just my estimation. I have no information. I just showed you the bankruptcy court. I just showed you the SEC court filing. I don't, there's nothing in there specifically stating that there's a delay or a wait or anything that would affect the burn process. So it is now my belief that this week, this coming week, that we are going to see them log in and they're going to do the bridge liquidity burn. Now, in the meantime, in the event that that bridge liquidity burn does not happen immediately, we can always put up a proposal to have that uh, to have that done. So uh, I'm not concerned about it. I think that we'll see that. And remember, that's uh, 274 billion or 251 billion of uh, Luna Classic and 1.8 billion 
USTC still sitting in the Luna Foundation Guard wallet. So uh, I think that it's just a matter of just a, a tiny bit more time uh, through the weekend. And then we'll see this burn happen. But listen, uh, don't make your investment based on that. If you're a long-term holder, this is a sign for you that a reversal is imminent and that we're going to get that explosive move. It's still going to happen. Uh, it's just unfortunate that, you know, Chris Amani, uh, Terraform Labs, uh, they're doing everything that they can to not comply or, uh, you know, look, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm not diamond hands, by the way. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't play, uh, I don't play Kate people and say, oh, I'm sure they're doing the best that they can, but I don't think they are. So uh, this should all be done, in my opinion, and we should be able to move forward. But here's the thing. Ceramic, in a couple days, should be having a proposal coming up for the repeg. So uh, the future is still bright. It just got delayed by a couple of days, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial, but I'm always right.